would like to give you some instructions for our radioactivity counter. The first step after starting, you have to cover the lens, put a small piece of paper onto the lens, either the back cam or the front cam. Here we have a small paper and some tape, so it's now totally covered. No light should go in the camera and don't uh, damage the camera lenses, of course. Now you have to set the noise for the first time. Later on you can repeat it if necessary. It will determine the noise level. It's very different from each phone. Some are very good, have a very low noise level. That's a good indication for high sensitivity. After one minute you'll get the result. It could be still wrong or too low, so you have some ground noise. Then you should increase the N value, the noise value. Now it's ready, you see. There are too much counts especially dots around the square and therefore you have to increase the noise level. It's 2 now the automatic value. Go to settings and within the settings menu you find the button noise and here press the plus button to increase it and therefore the zero noise, the zero counter rate will be reduced. Do it until you have only some counts per minute not hundreds, only maybe 4, 10 or 20 is fine. It could be different. Of course, if you have some ground radiation, then you have a noise. Here, a small probe, and we can check it out here with this small probe. It's a free extent, so we can use it here. And you see the dots coming in and get some counter value. The next step would be great, of course, to get a calibrated, more or less calibrated value here in micro gray per hour uh, instead of micro sievert because we believe the micro sievert is not very honest for this phone type because it's a value for the human body but it's around one to one so for estimation it's good you have to go to the adjust menu and to find the values here you have to look at our home page there are tables for different phones we have tested of course you cannot guarantee that your phone even if it's the same brand has the same values that's too early in this stage. We need some feedback also from your side. That's what we found here and it's very good. It's almost linear. This gives us a lot of hope that it's not a big problem for one phone in one brand. Now we have the ATC desire in this case and there you find the values in the table from 100 micro gray per hour up to 50,000 micro gray per hour. That's I think is a good range. And below it's getting nonlinear at the moment or you need a lot of measurement time. But now you enter all those values, including also the, the CPM noise, that's a zero noise you have measured before. Use your value, of course. And then all three pairs you have to enter. And that's the alarm level. You can use the alarm level to give an alarm. If it's increased and now it's uh, almost calibrated, it's quite precise for our phones, but of course we don't know that your phone has the same sensor from the manufacturer. Now we can start measuring, but first uh, you go to setting again. The noise level has to be increased again by one because our table shows four. There's a certain rule after which you can adjust also the values. If you have a higher value, you have to decrease the adjust values by 10% to be around in the same area of values. Now it's checking again the lens cover and now we get the measurement. I test now with our small probe here and there we can see the dots and we get also a micro gray per hour value which is valid after one minute but I don't want to take this probe here so long. Now we go to the Buchler Anlage where we have uh, more possibilities for higher radiations and more defined radiations. We use that device to get our tables and statistics and now here you can see how the values are increasing, uh, some alarm sound, uh, some phones, they are all different settings, not uh, calibrated to any value, uh, some random values, we just tested it here, this different device, so that's the Buchler device, below there are all the radiation sources, cesium-137 or also cobalt-60 which I had before as a small probe and now we start with a high radiation. I just wanted to test it what happens with the phones when I'm using 10 sievert per hour. This is a really dangerous rate. One half an hour here before this device and you are dead with 50% within the next week if you are going immediately to hospital. That's a very bad 
uh, high value, about 10 gray per hour or 10 zero per hour in this case for this type of radiation, it's a gamma radiation. So hopefully you don't get ever in this high radiation field.